Hello everyone. I'm on my radio ministry. I hope that I'm able to upload this broadcast. It is a broadcast that a uh, viewer has asked me to make. And I'm going to give you a few of my input first. Let me give you a background on what a Jezebel spirit is and then we'll hop right into it. Okay? A Jezebel, I'm going to give you a history. A Jezebel was a Phoenician princess in like the ninth century. And it's, in, it's she's talked about in the book of, I believe, First and Second Kings. Okay? But it's in, in the book of Kings. And um, she married Ahab, the prince of Israel. Now, eventually, they ruled as king and queen. Jezebel worshipped um, the false god of nature, Baal. Her, her citizens and um, the true prophet, Elijah, Elijah was a prophet of Yahweh, Jesus Christ, um, opposed this and despised it because he knew it was against the word of God. Excuse me. Now, Jezebel was manipulative and a, and a seductress, and she did witchcraft, and she used her sexuality like a succubus would, so she's got succubus characteristics too, because she, she is a sex spirit too. She used her sexuality to get what she wanted, so she prepared herself, because she was going to be murdered by General Jehu. So she applied makeup and she dressed in a very seductive manner. Um, before she was thrown over the balcony and eaten by dogs. Now, this is the way that she was murdered when she refused to repent to Jesus Christ. Even to the point of her death, she had to wear makeup. She had to be wearing with expensive clothes and so forth. Now, in 922 BC, the nation of Israel was two nations. Israel to the north, Judah. Israel to the north, I'm sorry, and Judah to the south. Israel was, um, Israel had uh, internal factions. So internal tribal differences. And they had, there was a, Israel wasn't strong yet. Okay, because Israel was ruled by um, Ahab, and Ahab was doing evil before the Lord's eyes. So, because the Lord wasn't resting upon Ahab, Israel was divided within itself. You know, the kingdom of Satan is a, is a house divided. Amen? So, Israel was subject to several uh, invasions. Um... Now, once Israel was, was made whole, when the masses surrendered to Jesus Christ. But before we get to that part, um, I said, I'm going to give you a background on Jezebel. She was a princess. She was born to, um, she was the daughter of King Ethbal. Okay, the Bible doesn't go into her childhood. And um, you know she lived. If you put two and two together, you know the way she acted. She was very self-centered. Okay, highly intelligent, demonic intelligence, if you will. Okay, uh, you would have to assume she grew up rich among the elite, had the best tutors, education according to man's standards anyway. Her family worshipped many gods, the most important to them, the false god Baal. Um, while Jezebel was growing into a woman, Israel was crowned a new king, and that king was Ahab. So to create an alliance with Israel, what happened was, was that the king arranged for his son, Ahab, to wed Jezebel. Ahab was a prince at that time. 
So their marriage supposedly solidified a political alliance between both kingdoms, between Jezebel's father and Ahab's father. Now, Jezebel enjoyed a life of luxury. Okay, she gained a lot of influence. She eventually became Israel's new queen. She continued to worship the false god Baal. And in doing so, she earned a lot of enemies. Um, her citizens were displeased with her. And um, she brought 800 of Baal's prophets to Israel. And she ordered the murder of several of Yahweh's prophets. I believe it was 400. I could be wrong on the number. 450 or... I knew it from 250 to 450 of God's true prophets. Um, Elijah, again, a prophet of old, appeared. And according to the book of Kings, Elijah gave a prophecy that there would be a drought would come upon Israel and famine would, would spread across Jezebel's land. And that prophecy did come to pass. Now, um... Naboth is, is, a, is a landowner who lived close to the king's residence. And he was asked by the king Ahab to give his land as a gift. Nahab refused. And um, Jezebel plotted against Ahab. I'm sorry, Naboth. Is, Naboth refused. He's the one that was the landowner, so correction. So Jezebel accused him falsely of blaspheming god and the king and had him put to death by stoning and then she took the plot of land and gave it to um ahab so elijah confronted king ahab and then he prophesied that ahab and all of his heirs would be killed and the dogs will eat jezebel according you know according to the story and it's not a story it's an actual event that happened several years later ahab died in battle with the syrians and a man named Jehu was promised to be, was promised the crown if he killed Jezebel's son. You know, basically taking Jezebel's authority. So as the story unfolds, Jehu made his way to Jezebel's palace to murder her. She was expecting him. She applied makeup, dressed herself in, in, in fine, in, like I said, fine clothing. Now, some people say that she was trying to seduce Jehu or she was just trying to die a dignified death, having pride even right to the end. And others were saying that she was trying to seduce him, yes, to becoming his mistress. But in the end, because she refused to repent to Jesus Christ, she was thrown out of the bedroom window, trampled by horses, and eaten by dogs. And her name has been used for a thousand years to describe a cunning and ruthless, um, reprehensible, vengeful woman who causes all types of evil. Some believe that, um, you know, this woman is only common in females, but this woman is not only common in females, she's common in males. Now, I've done videos on Jezebel before, and I mean in depth. Use other people's works. They did excellent jobs. Um, like I said, got their permission to do that, and they've done excellent work. Okay, I've done personal teachings on Jezebel myself. Okay, I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna tell you how to discern a Jezebel spirit. I'm gonna give you the characteristics first. I figure I give you a history on Jezebel. And then I would give you the characteristics on Jezebel. Okay. Jezebel, a Jezebel spirit, a person that's inflicted by the spirit, refuses to um, take accountability for their actions. They deny fault. So if they are in sin, they deny that. And, so, and, and, and they will use, okay, the scriptures they will twist the scriptures. They will add to it and edit it. They will take the scriptures and use it to support their own doctrines. 
Okay, a Jezebel always has to be right. They're never wrong. Okay, what they do is this. What you need to understand is a very crafty spirit. Okay, the only time that they will ever admit to guilt is to gain favor with someone. They will do whatever they can to gain favor with someone. Even if it means playing on that person's sympathy and emotions. Even if it means trying to turn others against the one person that's calling them out in error. Okay? They don't accept responsibility outright. Okay? They will demonstrate a false humility. Pretending that they accept that responsibility. Okay, to accept responsibility outright, it would violate their principalities of pride and insecurity because they're a very insecure and selfish spirit. Okay, this spirit primarily works behind the spirits of insecurity and pride. It could work behind various other spirits too. I've encountered demons that are not only Jezebel, but they're also suicide spirits. So Jezebel has several characteristics, many spirits that Jezebel works around. One of the most common I've seen was pride. Jezebel is a subordinate of Leviathan. Okay. When a Jezebel apologizes, it is never in true repentance. So it's never sincere. Okay. It's never acknowledgement of what they did was wrong. It's never an acknowledgement of of the uh, sin they committed, a sin is a wrong. Um, when a Jezebel apologizes, it's never truly from the heart. You know, they're not truly repenting. They don't truly confess that sin. They don't truly repent. It's either half-heartedly or nothing. They don't recognize or acknowledge or take accountability when they did a wrong. They don't come out and say, oh, I did that wrong. You know, they have a serious issue with confessing a wrong that they did a sin or whatever um so they won't admit that they did something wrong they say this i'm sorry your feelings were hurt so they don't they don't take fault even in that context they won't take responsibility they won't acknowledge that the fault is their own when they've wronged a person they just say i'm sorry your feelings are hurt or they played off like they didn't do anything and then or they played off like they didn't hear you um a Jezebel takes credit for everything. A strong trait in Jezebel is to never take responsibility for their actions. Okay? For their wrongful actions. Or their behavior or sin. Which is, sin is a, is, a, is a wrong, it's a bad behavior. But they are very quick to take credit for something when it benefits them. They're very quick to take a credit for something to which they did not contribute any effort at all now guys i don't know if this video is going to take up two teachings but we will see and i pray to the lord jesus christ that this video seriously uploads man they use people to accomplish their own agenda so they always have a hidden agenda like i said before the example that i gave they will play on a on a person's sympathy so they could get in good so, for example, with the Most High, the Most High God, Jesus Christ. Going back to Jezebel. Okay. Um, Jezebel was very resistant to God. Okay. But everything always had to be her way. Okay. So, she did not want to repent to God. She wanted to live her own life. So, she wanted everything to be about her. Everything to be her way. So she did whatever she could to get everything to work to her advantage. So she would like use other people for that. Okay. Think about Nahab, the landowner. I told you about. I hope I got the name right. He refused to give the land, the land to, to King Ahab, right? So she outright, publicly... Excuse me. Accuses him of committing blasphemy against God and the king. And it was a false charge. So she sold that to the public. She told that to the public. 
She knew that the public was going to turn against this landowner, Nahab, and that they were going to want.